In 2011, the U.S. consumed 18.8 million barrels of petroleum per day. This makes the United States the number one consumer of petroleum in the world. Petroleum has harmful effects on the environment, and many scientists, industry leaders, and conservationists are exploring new alternative energy sources. One such source is biodiesel, specifically biodiesel from algae. Algae are photosynthetic organisms that can be found in most habitats. They can be found in salt water and fresh water, hot desert sands, and cold snowy areas. Algae range from small single-celled forms to complex multicellular forms, such as giant kelp that can grow up to 65 meters in length. Eukaryotic algae are divided into macroalgae and microalgae depending upon their size. Unlike macroalgae, microalgae are generally efficient converters of solar energy due to their simple cellular morphology and, unlike land-based plants, very little biomass is needed to perform structural functions. In addition, they grow in aqueous suspension and have a greater surface area to mass ratio than land-based plants. Microalgae have more efficient access to water, carbon dioxide, and nutrients. Microalgae are considered a leading candidate for biofuel because of their ability to yield large amounts of oil, oftentimes more than 60% of its biomass. Microalgae can also accumulate in oil in environments that are not very nutrient rich. The oil content and productivity of microalgae vary among microalgae species. However, when compared with other biodiesel feedstocks, such as corn and soybeans, the oil to mass ratio of algae outperforms the others. Taking into consideration the relatively small amount of land needed for algae production, it makes sense that algae has emerged as one of the front runners in the biodiesel industry. The focus can now be turned to improving algae production and cultivation methods. For algae biodiesel production to be a success, it must be cultivated on a large scale. At first glance, this may seem like a simple process. After all, algae can be found throughout the environment, so it must be easy to farm. However, many environmental conditions must be met for cultivation to be successful. To start with, the appropriate level of light must be used in the cultivation process. This is called the light saturation point, and it differs for each type of algae. For cultivation to be successful, a complicated process must be used where both the design of the culture and the algae itself are modified to create optimal growing conditions. Temperature presents a similar problem and is pertinent for outdoor cultures. Each type of algae requires an optimal temperature level. Because of the anatomy of algae, the outer cells receive the majority of the light during the day. For biofuel production to be successful, all of the cells must receive the same average light exposure and the species must be able to withstand the mixing process used within the culture itself. Excess amounts of CO2 greater than the amount found in the atmosphere must also be added to the culture. At the same time, nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and silicon are required supplements as well. Not only are all of these factors essential to successful algae production, they are also dependent upon the type of algae being produced. Thus, the cultivation techniques used on a large scale require constant surveillance and large and complicated methods to ensure that no changes take place that will harm the algae crop. Many forms of cultivation have been designed to address these issues, including open pond cultures, closed indoor photobioreceptors, and fermenters. As the knowledge of algae production increases, it will become clear which production method is the most cost-effective and efficient. Until that time, all of the previously mentioned systems will continue to be explored. Equally essential to algae biodiesel creation is an obtainable method of oil extraction. One of the most efficient forms of algal oil extraction, despite being destructive, is quantum fracturing. This is where electromagnetism and pH levels lyse cell walls. Then the remaining products are gravity filtered based upon density. The final step is when biomass is further processed to create remaining fuel and is then used for more menial tasks such as food for livestock. Oil that is extracted is then used in a process called transesterification. This is when the oil is created into fuel. The transesterification process is when a fatty acid or algal oil triglyceride is mixed with an alcohol, usually methanol, and catalyzed by a hydroxide. The catalyst for the algal reaction is sodium ethanoate, and this is then transformed into glycerol and three methyl esters, or the biofuel that is wanted. Algal biodiesel, when created, does not affect MPG or the performance of an engine. It does, however, lower greenhouse gases, but also increases smog-inducing particulates. This graph displays the effects of an engine without a catalytic converter. 
catalytic converters are often seen to lower particulate matters and VOCs. Now, a new process can also be used to create the fuel, pyrolysis. The algae is vaporized in the absence of oxygen and then condensed by temperature change. The process then uses algae in its original state to create fuel. After the process occurs, the only products are gas, char, and fuel. As shown, the gas can be reused for further reactions and the char can be used in food or fertilizer. Currently, quantum fracturing is the accepted form of oil extraction, an industry mainstay that has been developed and tweaked for years. But as pyrolysis gains more traction and increases its efficiency, it may overtake quantum fracturing as the leading extraction method due to its small impact on the environment and tendency for faster production. Although there is great optimism about the future of algae biodiesel, it is not without its problems. Concerns over its environmental impact, specifically the increase in smog-inducing particles created when the fuel is burned, as well as the prices of production, have been raised by critics, and not without reason. Each must be addressed before algae biodiesel production will become a mainstream solution to the world's energy crisis. However, we feel confident that technological innovations will make algae biodiesel production a clean, reliable source of energy hopefully in the near future.